na twisi ya mambo angini kana minista muviani wa CCA wandini kidule kindiki ni wamenda a Kenya mabikie na kuosa passport sio ile mini tena kuteuwa kindiki ni wawe takana passport mbingi ni mini tena kuteuwa ndi ya hivi ya na kuosa na nime kuithiwa mainenga na matambia ala me kuithiwa mayoswa passport isu sema kubikia na kuosa ni eme kindiki ene na uka vinda ni kala evi kite mauvisi ni maa kuosa ya passport kaunti ni ya embu mbunani wa eo na bala e kudhui maa kuseugwa kwa passport ovisi ni usu We have discovered after we improved on our service delivery that we have quite a number of uncollected passports, including in this office. This office alone in Embu is holding approximately 6,000 uncollected passports. Nairobi is holding somewhere between 20 and 30,000 uncollected passports. And the other region offices also are having some uncollected passports. And therefore, on Wednesday, we are going to initiate a nationwide rapid results initiative on collection of passports. And we are going to make it mandatory for all the people of Kenya who have applied for passports. And we have printed those passports. We have those passports. They must collect those passports within the period that we are going to announce on Wednesday. And every person, we will even publish those uh, passport numbers and those public holders with a notice that they must come and collect them. If they don't, we will announce the measures we will take because we cannot, we cannot, you can't put us under pressure as immigration officers to give you a passport. Then when it is printed, you don't come for it. Some of them, we have already tried, we have tried sending them SMS messages, calling them to come and pick, and they are not in a hurry. So we will force everyone to come and pick their passports within a, a certain period of time. If they don't pick, we will uh, apply the law in terms of um, uh, making sure that we find a way of uh, disposing and closing that chapter. But that is uh, a subject for next week. For now, I think I'm happy. I want to thank the team here, the officer in charge, the security officers who are helping here with, uh, with, with order and law uh, here. I just want to thank them. I want to thank members of the public. And I carry back to Nairobi the commitment to improve the facilities here and also to look at the welfare of the staff here and also to look at the IT infrastructure and software that we need to upgrade in this place. Na washukuru sana na watakia kila laheri. Labda waziri, yes. sasa wali moja. Yeah. Wana madai baadhi ya maafisa katika hidara wana ufisa bi. Muka wa munini wa President Dorcas Grigadi. Umundi ndini wa umbano wa mapasta hekanisani ya Kingdom Seekers Fellowship ilai kautini ya Nakuru. Ni wabiki ya na kuweta kana kuina mwani wakana kuende ya na ukusi wa miani hekanisani kumana na kulea kwili wa na angwata niyo katikati wa anasa. Who speaks about fathers and sons and speaks about the church of Jesus Christ. There is a big problem in the, and a crisis in the, in the body of Christ. Because of the conflict between the sons and the, and the, and, and, and the fathers. Because we lack the respect and honor to our fathers. And for that reason, the church is falling apart. There is a schism and there is division in the churches. Because we have bastard sons and daughters. I am not the one who calls you that. It is God who calls you that. And therefore, we must come together and start thinking afresh. As sons and daughters, whether we are going to go by the word of God. So that we'll be a people that begin with the spirit and end with the spirit. Mwendo msaisi ya pauni bongo ya kiaingi vilo mbini wa ndangasi ya mobo mwendo ni wa samo nzanye. Nita wa Jennifer. Mwendo kwa oyu kutia moko ni make Fiona Ayo.